This is a 48 inch, 27 feet long, does about 700 to 1,000 mugs an hour. Total clearing is nine inches, so for the largest substrate, you want to stay at about eight and a half inches so it doesn't touch the oven ceiling. Same for the oven chamber and same for the clearing and the, uh, under the cooler. The number of mug wraps needed depends, of course, on the length and the width of the oven to keep a, con a continuous uh, production going. So the mug wraps have time to, first of all, travel through the oven to the cooler being unwrapped time to cool down and then have the, uh, the time to be wrapped again and placed at the front end of the oven. Okay, at this point, uh, I've just explained you how the dryer in general works. Now we're gonna see the operation of the dryer. I've already filled uh, some of the, uh, of the belt with, with mugs. I'm just gonna fill the row and then start the dryer and show you the actual sublimation. For mug wraps, uh, I'm using the Hicks uh, two-step clasp wraps. Mug wraps can wrap either a 11 or a 15 ounce mug. I'm using 15 ounce mugs here in this case. So I'm gonna fill this row and then we'll start the dryer up. The advantage of the wraps is that the silicone can be removed, as you see, by just removing a couple of screws and then replace it with a, uh, a different uh, brand new silicone, which is much less expensive than the clasp. The clasp virtually lasts forever. The silicone lasts about 100, 150 cycles uh, if you maintain them well. Try not to puncture them, try not to throw them in a box altogether. Try not to lay them on a sharp object, on a sharp corner, especially when they're hot, they're, they're fragile. If you do that, they'll last about 100, 150 cycles. At that point, the silicone is so saturated and the elasticity may have reduced a bit. So at that time, they may even torn, may show micro tears here and there. So at that point, just like an elastic that you stretch and relax 150 times when they're hot, uh, eventually is going to wear and tear and break. Uh, so will the silicone, um, which uh, needs to be replaced. So the advantage is you don't throw the whole clasp away. There's no welding here, so there's not, no permanent attachment to the clasp. Uh, and they can, just with these four screws, simply replace and reinsert it. And uh, you have another life cycle of the mug wrap. Normal dwell time in the oven is, uh, is about 10 to 12 minutes, depending on the size, the thickness, the height, uh, the amount of volume of the actual substrate. The mugs are now coming out of the oven. They're fully sublimated. Uh, they're still hot. You don't wanna, you don't wanna touch them at this point. As they move um, away from the oven and under the cooler, uh, they cool off a little bit, but at least we have, we have a barrier here that prevents the interference of the cool air and the hot uh, oven. So as, as soon as they bridge this gap, they come under the cooler, at which point the cool air that shoots down from this uh, cooling fan will instantly stop the sublimation uh, of, the, uh, of the substrate. The mugs are now progressing under the cooler. At this point, they are, they are almost uh, lukewarm, they're still lukewarm, uh, almost ready to uh, manipulate by hand. Those are still too hot, don't, I don't want to touch those. By the way, these uh, mugs can not just travel the straight way up, which is uh, the mug up. Some people put them the other way, I prefer this way, that way the air can circulate in the mug and cools them a little faster, also heats them a little faster. As you see, the mugs at this point are cool to the touch. I use one glove just so that the metal doesn't hurt my finger, otherwise they're fine. So at this point, the mugs are ready, they're sublimated. Ready off the press. They can go straight in the box, transfer thrown away, the mug wrap, the mug wrap recycled. Ready to cool down a little bit, so that as I do a couple of rows, and the mug wraps are cool, they can be recycled and used again at the front of the dryer and used again for the next batch.